The Three Gorges Dam in China is on the verge of overflowing, and the U.S. transportation sector needs to be prepared for even more catastrophic disruption in 2021. The Three Gorges Dam, which is nearly 1.5 miles long and taller than the Washington Monument, was strategically placed on the Yangtze River to control flooding and generate electricity to power the country's rapid industrialization. Due to the record deluge of rainfall, the world's largest hydroelectric dam, which has a volume of 39.3 billion cubic meters, is at risk of breaking, which would kill or displace millions, flood China's cradle of manufacturing, and create massive disruptions in the global supply chain. Many highly populated cities have already seen historic flooding. The dam is upstream of major manufacturing hubs Wuhan and Zhejiang, along with Shanghai 1,000 miles farther down at the coast. Flooding has already caused immense devastation. The U.S. is also at odds with China due to grievances ranging from intellectual property theft to human rights abuses. Mike Pompeo, U.S. Secretary of State, aired these grievances against the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, in an incendiary speech, we imagined engagement with China would produce a future with bright promise of comedy and cooperation, Pompeo said, recalling the idealized relations President Richard Nixon envisioned when he first visited the country in 1972. But today, today we're all still wearing masks and watching the pandemic's body count rise because the CCP failed in its promises to the world. We're reading every morning new headlines of repression in Hong Kong and in Xinjiang, he continued. We're seeing staggering statistics of Chinese trade abuses that cost American jobs and strike enormous blows to the economies all across America, including here in Southern California. And we're watching a Chinese military that grows stronger and stronger, and indeed more menacing. The U.S. trucking sector should follow these events closely, as changes may occur rapidly that transform the nature of the trucking business. In the short term, disaster relief supplies and food may need to be expedited to China as millions of hectares of crops have already become inundated. And while trucks and equipment are built in North America, parts and materials are sourced from China, and many automotive factories are downstream from the dam. In the near future, there may be some difficulty getting those parts. In his speech, Pompeo alluded to China's reluctance for transparency, President Reagan said that he dealt with the Soviet Union on the basis of trust, but verify. When it comes to the CCP, I say we must distrust and verify. 